Hi everyone, welcome friends of the planet, Zoe here. I'm sitting down with Monica and Miro today to talk a little bit more about their 2020 climate wins, both with our daily planet and for the movement as a whole. So thank you both for being here with me and I'm really excited to hear about what were some hits the last year. Thanks Zoe, this is so great and happy new year friends of the planet. This is the first day of 2021, so hopefully it's all upward from here. <laughs> Better from here, all good. I am I'm so excited about 2021. It feels like we've been waiting for it for a long time. And I have so many things that I think really were great in 2020, despite all of the bad news. I think we saw climate really take center stage in the presidential election. That was huge. But to me, the even more impressive thing that happened in 2020 was the environmental justice movement. And when I think back about what really broke through in a huge way that never had before, for. It was climate justice and environmental justice and a focus on people who have been living for far too long with a legacy of pollution and air quality that's not up to par, water that's not clean and clear. So I do feel like there was a real inflection point, a real turning point on that. And to me, it was punctuated by President-elect Biden selecting Congresswoman Deb Holland to be the first Native American Secretary of Interior. If there was any Anything that spoke to the moment that climate and environmental justice is having right now, it was that pick. And I think to your point, Monica, is that it became evident, at least to the broader environmental community, that there is no social justice without environmental justice. And in terms of even economic growth and economic justice, we can't hope to grow our economy without addressing climate change in earnest. So, you know, I think that point was was made and that's an important thing that 2020 left with us. Yeah, climate change does mean job. It does mean opportunity and it does mean a better life if we fight climate change and take on these pollution challenges. So to me, that was a huge amount of progress in just a year. And COVID actually probably forced the issue even more than it would have otherwise. We had a terrible year in many, many ways. And yet in others, we grew in ways that were unexpected. And I would say that's the case for our daily planet too. We grew in ways that we hadn't expected. We have Zoe now helping us do these wonderful interviews and Zoom has connected us in ways to our readers that we never thought was possible before. So we've had great fun with Third Way, doing panel discussions, and we've done a whole host of interviews and we're now enjoying two weeks worth of interviews, special ones about the end of the year. And I think that bodes well for the future of our daily planet. Yeah, awesome. I'm so excited for everything that we've accomplished in 2020 and moving that into 2021 and doing so much more. I'm really interested to know kind of what you're excited about with some things that you're looking forward to in terms of the climate movement and possibly what you're looking forward to with Joe Biden as our president. I think there's a lot to look forward to in 2021, but just to take a step back, and this isn't necessarily um, a warm and fuzzy thing, but I spent my summer home in California. California. And this is right when all these wildfires hit. And that day that really made its way around social media with the dark orange skies that just choked most of Northern California. That moment was really surreal for a lot of people. And even in a state like California, that's pretty liberal and people are pretty on board with climate policy. I think that drove home for a lot of people that this emergency is here and that we have to address it. And that the world's fifth largest economy can't go on like this. And that, you know, states around the country, whether it's Colorado or Washington or Oregon that get these choking fires or places inundated by hurricanes. It's like, we, we can't survive this unless we take drastic action. So I think that point was really made. And I think heading into 2021, where we have an administration that is willing to comprehensively take on these issues, to enact a an whole of government approach so that every agency has a plan to address these issues and that we keep it at the, the center of our political conversation. And, you know, I've said this before, but I think people start to care about what their politicians and what candidates talk about. And if we keep driving this point, if we keep making the connection about environmental justice and climate action and renewable energy and the opportunities that exist for jobs, it's just going to help
help accelerate action. And, you know, we can really just enter back into the global conversation on climate change too with Joe Biden as president. So I think there's a lot to look forward to. We have our work cut out for us, but it's good work. I think many of us have been waiting for four years to really, you know, pick up our stride here and, and get our hands dirty. So I know I'm looking forward to, to digging in. I think it's going to be a really interesting year. And I think government actually spurs action even without lawmaking or regulating. And what I see is an increased interest in these issues by both corporations and consumers. And what I think about the future, I think it's one in which corporations will hopefully, the good ones will be racing to the top will be competing with each other to do better in terms of energy efficiency or renewables or better packaging that doesn't use as much plastic or being more sustainable in the way they harvest natural resources, fish or timber, whatever it is. What I see is this good synergy growing between government and the private sector and individuals like us who can make a difference just by demanding better products, by asking for less plastic packaging, by asking for chemicals to be taken out of products because we think they're harmful to us. I do feel like we're at that next inflection point in terms of the environmental movement. 50 years ago, you know, we talked a lot this year about the 50th anniversary of EPA and a lot of the major environmental laws. Earth Day. <laughs> yes, Earth Day. What I see is this next 50 years is going to be even more transformational. And that's incredibly exciting. And mostly it's because of people like you guys who are going to carry this with all your savvy on technology and your real passion around these issues. When I think about what a difference it will make to have people like you involved in making that difference, whether it's out here in the media or in corporations or in the government. So I'm really excited about not just 2021, but the future in general. I think 2021 in particular is a really interesting year because of the Climate COP and the Conference on Biodiversity COP. The confluence of those two important meetings back to back with climate and nature, both getting the call from the international community and becoming central to the way that we think about the future of the, the world, frankly. And I'm very excited that the team that President-elect Biden and Vice President Harris are putting together will put these issues front and center in the world again and that the U.S. will be helping to lead. So I think that's a great sign that change is in the air and there's a lot of really exciting things to think about for 2021. Well, I really appreciate both of you for taking the time during your holiday to speak Thanks, with Zoe. me. Thanks, Zoe. Thanks, <laughs> Zoe. This was great. I look forward to lots more interviews with Zoe asking the questions. <laughs> me too. And but I just want to, you know, reiterate that we're also looking forward to in the new year to have more engagement with our audience. And we wanted just to thank you all for all the questions and comments and even pointing out typos where we've made them that you sent in. We created our daily planet to really build a community around these issues. And we feel it so profoundly and we can't wait to enter this new year together and to celebrate all of your wins and to celebrate all the wonderful things that are going to be happening in the broader environmental community. Thank you, friends of the planet. We are so grateful for you. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy 2021. Year. Ooh, we made here. it. <laughs> we made it.